Do you have a site like this where you want to show somebody which page they're currently viewing with some kind of visual indicator? Here I've got it on home, or if I go to the about page, or the donate page, or the contact page, I want to show this little wavy line so that the user knows exactly which page they're viewing. Well, there's a really easy way to do this, and all you need is one CSS selector and one loop through all of your stuff in JavaScript. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this in a foolproof way that's not only visually accessible, but is accessible to screen readers and other assistive technology. And we're going to do that with the ARIA current attribute. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so your project is going to look different than mine, but you can see here what I've got is just a basic UL and LIs inside of those, so a basic list here. And inside each of these LIs, I've got an anchor tag pointing to home and about and donate and contact. Now, you, yours will probably look different than this, but if you're interested in how I did this, I just did a video showing how to create a responsive navigation just like this that you can click and pull down, and I did all this just with HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript just for clicking that menu. So if you're interested in that, again, go ahead and check out the video at the end of this video. But now, like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be adding ARIA attributes, which are going to give us accessibility benefits by telling screen readers and other assistive technology which page is the active page in our nav bar. And in addition to that, we can actually style this for sighted users so that they can see which link they are currently on. So we need to do two things to prepare for this. Number one, we need to go ahead and add in uh, some styling for the ARIA attribute. Now, just so we can see what this is going to look like, I'm going to show you what we're going to be adding in our JavaScript. It'll say ARIA, like this, current, and then equals page. So let's go ahead and add that here. Now, you're not going to be able to see anything change yet because that's what we're going to be doing in our styling. So let's come over here to our style sheet. Now, each of those LIs had a class of nav link. So let's grab that first of all. And then we'll say whenever I have a nav link here has an ARIA attribute, and you can add any attributes, including ARIA attributes, in these brackets, and it will reference it correctly in your CSS. So we'll do ARIA current equals page, just like that. So whenever that is the case, we're going to add some styling. Now, you can do whatever styling you want. I think let's just do something fun here. Let's do an underline, and then we'll do wavy, and then we'll do a value here. I've got F8C34. Uh, eight, which is kind of a yellowish color. And then we'll do 0.15 rem for the width of that line. And then let's offset it just slightly. So we'll say text underline uh, offset, and we'll do 0.5 rem. Now if I save it here, you should see that this styling now shows on this current page. Now we've hard coded that into our HTML. We obviously don't want to do that because when we change over to our about, well, number one, that's gone because we hard-coded it into just the index.html file, not into this about.html file. So it's only going to show over here. Now, all of our files are going to reference our JavaScript file. So we can actually write it all in JavaScript. So let's first of all get rid of what we added or we hard-coded over here. And then I'll jump into my JavaScript file. And all we're going to do, first of all, is select all of the links. So we'll say document.query selector all. We're going to select the class here, so a dot nav dash link. And then we're going to loop through these links. Easiest way to do this is with a for each loop. And then we'll pass in an arrow function. So all you're going to do is say for each. And then you can name this whatever you want since they're links. Let's just call them links. And then we'll add an equal sign and just one of these greater than symbols. And I'll put them together. My font uh, stacks them up so they're a little easier to read there. And we'll just wrap this all in curly brackets. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and console.log the link itself. So if I do that and come over here and pull this up, you're going to see now all of these links are being logged to the console. Now, what I want to look at is this href right here. And I can get access to that just because it's a property on that tag by saying link.href. Now, you'll notice what I'm getting here is the entire URL along with whatever I actually had as the href of that link. Now, we want to compare that to whatever the window says its current location is. Now, browsers always declare a global object called a window. And it contains everything you need to know about the current document you're viewing. In fact, you can just look at it here by saying window, just like that, and then look inside this object, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. You've got methods, which are just functions you can run on the window itself. You've got properties, so like device pixel ratio 2. You've got other properties like inner height, and all these, again, are functions. So you've got all these different options. What we're interested in is this location right here. And inside this location, we have an href right here. So this href should correspond to whatever href our link is showing. And when those two things match, we can then add in that aria current equals page. 
So first of all, let's just go ahead and come up here and add this to our console log. So we'll say window.location.href. Now if I refresh, you're going to see that I get a couple different things. This is the page we're on, this index.html, and you can see that that looks the exact same for both of them because they are the same. Notice, however, that this about does not match the window location. Same thing here and same thing here. So I'm already isolating exactly which page I'm on. Now, if I jump over to the about page, the same thing happens, except this time, this about href of the link, the header link, matches the about href of the window location. And now this index.html does not match the window location itself. So whatever your current folder structure, this will show you that whatever document you're viewing, if it matches one of those hrefs that you have in your navigation. That means we've got one little line to write just to compare these two. So let's do an if statement here. We'll just say if that href equals, we'll do a triple equal. So if it's the exact same thing as the window.location.href, then we'll take the link dot set attribute. We'll set the attribute of aria current and then a comma here and we'll set it to page. And now as soon as we've done that, our CSS kicks in on whatever page we're viewing, on the home, on the about, on the donate, or the contact, and it shows us exactly which page is currently being viewed. And as an important and crucial addition, now if a user is using assistive technology, they can also tell which page is the current page because of this ARIA attribute that we added. So one CSS selector and one loop over all of our navigation items, and now we've got an accessible and dare I say fun visual indication of which page we're currently viewing. I'll have a link in the description to a code pen with just the basic text you're going to need here to get this up and running with whatever your site is. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was a big help. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.